Discovering the meaning of Lotus Eater. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, Lotus Eater. This term has a rich history and a unique meaning in the English language. Whether you're a language enthusiast or just curious about English idioms and phrases, this video will uncover the secrets behind Lotus Eater. So, let's dive in. The term Lotus Eater originates from Greek mythology. In Homer's epic, The Odyssey, Odysseus and his men land on an island inhabited by the Lotus Eaters. These people eat the fruit of the lotus plant, which causes them to fall into a state of contented forgetfulness and lose their desire to return home. This story symbolizes the allure of forgetfulness and the dangers of succumbing to temptation that leads to apathy and inaction. In modern usage, a lotus eater refers to someone who leads a life of pleasure and luxury but is detached from the realities of daily life. This person is often seen as someone who is indifferent to the troubles of the world, choosing to live in a state of blissful ignorance or idle enjoyment. To better understand how to use lotus eater in a sentence, here are a few examples. 1. After winning the lottery, he became a lotus eater, spending his days in luxury without a care in the world. 2. The novel portrays the protagonist as a lotus eater, detached from the societal challenges and living in his own world of pleasure. Lotus eater is not just a phrase. It has influenced literature, music, and art. For instance, in literature, The Lotus Eaters by Tennyson is a famous poem that explores this theme. In music, several bands and songs have used this term, often to convey a sense of escapism or blissful ignorance. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, Lotus Eater. It's a term that not only enriches our vocabulary but also reminds us of a timeless lesson from mythology about the balance between pleasure and reality. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more interesting English language content. Until next time, keep exploring and expanding your language horizons.